Hey everybody, it's Summoner's Patroy Flux, call me Flux for short or whatever you want to call me, and in the last episode, we got up here to the jail, well we got down here to the dungeon of the Emperor's Palace, and basically got thrown in a cell because it was an obvious trap that we fell for, and then got pushed here into a pit where we had to fight a bug. And that was after fighting a vampire over at the ruins where Dialog was being held. Um, in this episode, we are basically in a bit of a bind. We have to get back up out of the ruins or the dungeon here and probably fight a boss up there too. And yeah, basically just kind of, oh dang, we're outside now. Armored man gets whacked. This is a little bit interesting. These enemies are a bit intimidating and um, that might be why I didn't speak for a bit. It might also just be because I was all sorts of other things. Um, do I dare go back into the palace? Uh, or do I try and go into town? Um, I wonder if the town is going to let us buy anything or stay at the inn right now. Because it wouldn't surprise me if they wouldn't let the resistance peacefully be. Jonas Leech is level 30. Candy. So that means we just kind of burned a chocolate on nothing because he healed anyway. Okay, so, the, so these enemies are honestly not that bad to fight compared to what they could be. Because I think our equipment is actually pretty decent right now. Yeah, actually pretty decent. Um, I I like to keep these. I like to keep Zelda and Jonas here on um on the particular basically on the particular weapons that I have them on anyway because. They are growing their skill with that weapon. And I don't know if that applies to other people or if it's just to the person who's skill who's leveling up with it. I'm glad I went back went in for these anyway, because these look like they'll be good rewards. Um And they're not too hard to get either. Oh, that is a, another chest. I got the axe's orb, that's gonna help Jonas. Um Another enemy just popped up in the middle here. We got some candy. I should probably just get out of here because these enemies are, seem to be infinitely spawning. But it could also be a decent chance to grind. But again, grinding for actual like physical combat experience isn't necessarily the most important thing ever. What's more, rel relatively more important is grinding for for skill use, spell levels. Although leveling up from physical experience and stat-wise is good for... for some other reasons too, because, hey, you've got... you've got your health that refills every time you level up, so... That level up can come at a, can come at a good time to heal you, or it can come right after you use a healing item anyway, like I just did with Jonas. Oh, Andrew reaches level 31. Flame Saber level two. Well, it's not gonna help you much unless you get a chance to attack, which is certainly possible that you won't. Zelda reaches level 31. I feel like Jonas is always just a level or so behind us. And that's 
I don't know if that's a bad... That I don't know how big of a problem that is. It's definitely a slight problem, but... Hmm. That is certainly... Hmm. I'll see what's in here. Dark Ninja. Well, these are interesting enemies. They are definitely hiding, like... Which is probably where the ninja part of their name comes from. Speed down level two. But... That doesn't really make them any harder to deal with. First level two. Oh, that's the, um... That's what the self-destruct spell is. Oh, more books. Lucid Barrier, level four. Let's just hit that switch and open the door. I have a feeling that this... Ah, sir. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. They are certainly taking a lot of damage to us, and I don't know what to make of that, personally. Enemies having high dodge rates is kind of annoying because I think evasion rate, like evasion rates, like the, the rate at which you dodge is probably one of the more broken stats in this game to have really high because if you dodge everything, then if you dodge everything, then there's really not a whole lot that you need to worry about. Because dodging... Okay, sir. Can you just please get stabbed or sliced or whatever? Okay, Jonas is down. But... I think the other reason why he's probably keeps dying is the fact that I keep forgetting to revive him, so he's always a level behind. Burst. That burst is probably gonna do, uh, 48 damage. Um, yeah. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like some of these, um... Panels and tiles are a little bit of a maze here, but... Oh, see, that one just pushes us back. Um, or maybe it's just because we didn't deal with the thing. No, it just kind of pushes us back, but at least it doesn't damage us. Um... Yeah, the way, the way you can get dodge, dodge and get damaged, even when with the, um, hey, you, sir, need to calm down. The way you can get damaged, no, no, the way you can, okay, I need to actually figure out what I'm trying to say, and say it properly, um, doom trap, uh, that is probably the single most jerkish thing I've seen in this game, actually. Okay, let's see what... Let's see how we can even get through here. Um, hmm. So it definitely seems like it's a maze of some kind. But this is the only thing that does anything, and it puts us over here. Oh, sure, these enemies are respawning. But... That's a little bit annoying how this... Huh. I'm a little bit puzzled by this whole development. 
unless, okay. No, that's not an extra little passageway out. Um, hmm. There's got to be some secret to this. Oh, I think I figured it out. Hmm. This is odd and a little bit obnoxious, but I know there's probably something I'm missing. and getting, ooh, money and better not be a freaking doom trap. Candy! So these chests appear to either contain candy or death. Give me candy or give me death, as the famous words of nobody have said. Well, somebody has probably said that to some extent, but I'm not sure I want to know the context in which that was said and made sense to say. Armor band gets whacked. Candy! I think we now have a full supply of candy, which is odd because I can't even buy it at this stage of the game. Unless I go back to the older towns where it was where Candy was honestly really overpowered for our first healing item. And meanwhile, now I've gotten all three of us to, to the point where a chocolate isn't even necessarily a guaranteed full heal anymore. So, yeah. We, we've come a little, bit, pretty decently long way for how not little time this game has taken me. And that's actually one thing I do want to kind of talk about a bit. And not really necessarily to some, like, huge extent. But I do want to kind of mention that I feel like I've been taking a little bit longer to get through this game than I need to. And it's definitely partly because I'm just not experienced with it. Really. Some of that getting trapped a little bit there was a little obnoxious. Doom trap. Damn it. Still alive. This was indeed a triumph. <laughs> okay, you know I have to make that joke when it flat out says that in that context. I can't not make that context joke because it's not even a joke at that point. It's literally just saying, yes, I succeeded. I am, I was, it was in fact a triumph that I am not dead when I very well should have been from that trap. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into things. Is there, any, is there anything good to do here on the route to the Imperial Chamber? Because I feel like that might hold the key to why I'm getting there. Also, these enemies are getting us up in levels pretty quickly. Like, it doesn't take much time at all for me to get to increase a level at this point in the game. Because, I don't know. Hmm. There is, in fact, nothing here. Hmm. I now have, yeah, four candies. Cannot use the magic rope here. Okay. Maybe that's just because that's a special room. I'm not using magic rope here either. Maybe is this also part of like the special room because it's not part of the dungeon path? I don't know. Honestly, there's really not much reason to not kill that thing because it looks like it was pretty close to dying anyway. Um, cannot use the magic rope. Okay. Perhaps it's because this is the Emperor's Palace and not really a full-on dungeon. Also, I was trying to attack the air. Maybe I'm the one who's confused. But yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna see what happens if I try to go just out to the main town. Or can I not? Yeah, no, it literally won't let me go down those steps. That's a little bit unfortunate that I cannot go and find any way to save or heal or anything. Especially because I cannot actually figure out how to get to the top part of the, of the, of the palace. I wonder. And this isn't going to defeat the Empire in and of itself, because that would be too easy, because they are the ones who are bringing about the whole end of the world thing that we need to fight against. So even if we defeat the whole army here at the palace, that's not going to stop them for whatever reason. Probably because they have commanders in other places. Um, Thanatos got away. In fact, Thanatos getting away is probably the reason why they called this whole fake peace treaty in the, be in the beginning. Because, heck, this whole, this whole matter is a little bit on the suspicious side. Jeez. Okay, I want to say this is probably the same little room as where we came out of that place. Okay, so it's, so there isn't anything I've seen through walls that I haven't been to in some way or another. Oh, someone leveled up. You know, it's level 32. Lovely. Um, this is the way to get through here. Us leveling up is honestly pretty good. Also, the fact that these chests give out candy like, er, well, candy. It's pretty good. But those doom traps also mean that I've burned a couple of wishes. And I've also burned a couple, couple of wishes just in general and other than that. That I can't really restore right now. And I can't save either because I can't go back to town. So... I'm hoping there's not going to be another boss fight when I get to the top. Which, can I even get to the top? I don't know for sure, because there seems to be something amiss with the, this setup. Okay, Dark Ninja is confused. So am I, but I can't really do anything better about that. Um, those pails don't damage me, but they just kick me off backward. Just defeat you, because you are 
getting stun locked super easily. There's nothing going on here. Here, I can step on that. But I can't find anything. I can't find anything that would actually help us get onto that other side of that door. Unless... Unless there's... What? How did that... How did that work? I don't know. I just walked over it like nothing. Huh, there's... Guest star. Why not finish them up and come to the palaces? Okay. Okay, so this guy again. This guy that I fought out in the desert. Zelda. Actually, you know what? Now is not the best time because I he's not going to be on the screen for very long. So Zelda, you do an analyzer on the Mech Rider because I forget if it's weak to anything. It will tell us if it's weak to anything at all. It's not weak to any specific magic at all, so... Oh, jeez. That is... That is, ba that is bad when it just suddenly kind of... Really. Jonas, you... I might have to use a fairy walnut, but Rock's Earth Slide seems like your most powerful general use magic. I had no idea how much damage that did because you were way off screen. Oh, that is a nice... Mech Rider's magic faded. Um, I can't go anywhere because Zelda is unconscious. That is really unfortunate. Uh, Jonas, do another Earth Slide. I can use a Gem Missile, I suppose, as well. 120, that's not bad for how much health he has. Um, Mech Rider gets whacked. Ooh, uh, that's a little bit... Zelda. Drop a Cure Water on all three of us. I, I say drop, and because it's literally a drop of water, but I mean, like, as in just... Okay. Um, Jonas... Doing gem missile. And. Wow, that went really quick. I didn't really have a whole lot to worry about that fight, I don't think. But yeah. This game is going really, really quickly. There's a ton of boss fights, and they all kind of come out of nowhere, and they pile on you like a few at a time. I'm gonna burn up this whole place. That's... Um... You're just gonna burn up the whole Imperial Palace because you lost a fight. That is... King Truffle. Oh boy. Um... We just have to kind of go to where he is. Am I too late? You want to know how I came here? I think I have a guess. Yep. The dragon is flying now. So, just hopped on. Strange, but he thinks you're his parents. I guess he wants to help you. Aw, that's cool. The drum is his favorite toy. Use it anywhere and it'll come to you. Now take me to Matango. It's to the southwest. Wow, that is a flashy animation. Oh my goodness, we are flying on the overworld map. Um, so now we can actually find where place, just fly anywhere. Um, that said, finding the places on this world map is a little bit tricky because I have no idea what any of them look like. 
I don't even know exactly how I'm supposed to go down. Um, oh, geez. That is not a map. That is not a real of the map I'm, I like. That is so awkward. Um, I think, is this Pandora? I was impressed until you said you flew here. Now this is not Pandora. Where am I? Mana sustains the cosmos, but it is not infinite. People no longer cherish life, so mana is fading away. I have no idea where I am. Um, people from all over visit our ancient temple. This is a little bit confusing. To the lofty mountains, this is Mandala. Sleep flower level five. Andrew is unconscious, but it didn't work somehow. Um... I'm going to try and call the dragon again. Because I have a feeling that we... I have a feeling that we found the wrong place. This world map is confusing and not labeled and otherwise just generally not particularly conducive to finding anywhere. I'm lost. I am I am honestly so lost right now. This is There's an island just in the middle of nowhere that I can land at. There's the desert. Um I'm gonna test this being Kakara. Yes. So now, from here I need to fly to Matango, which... <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be a bit of a challenge. I should probably, like, find a labeled world map. gonna do this. Okay, so that's Matango somehow. How do you like riding Flammy? Get lost up there, use his special powers. Press start to see the map. LR buttons to change modes. Find the lofty mountains to the southwest. What you seek is there. Visit me again, okay? That is... Okay. Um, well, I can go here and restock on chocolates. I don't think I used any fairy walnuts. Um, cups of wishes, yes. Medical herbs, yes. I think I only need one of those. And I can stay at the inn. And I think that's going to be it for the episode, so... Next time we go back to that place at the Lofty Mountains, I can go here and do the whole bit with Watts and... Probably don't actually have enough cash on hand to forge all of these things. Because some of these are going to be pretty... I should prioritize the ones that I use. Like the axe. So we have the golden axe, Excalibur, and the halberd. That's going to cost all my cash to, to do. I should do that one because it's a little cheaper. Oh wait, I totally misplaced a, des a, a misplaced a uh, pl place. So I thought I only had like four thousand in gold. Now it turns out I have thirty thousand. Um, yeah. In that case, let me go ahead and upgrade the Flail of Hope to the Morning Star. 
Um, is there anything I didn't upgrade? I could probably check that. Also, this episode is going, going on way too long. So, I should, you know, just be ending it now. And, yeah. In any case, I will see you all um, tomorrow, I guess. Taking care, taking care of Flammy. Yes, that's good to know. But we need to basically go and go. We need to go to the mountains using the dragon, and we have to. And I f actually found the right place to go without even meaning to. And also the fact that it tells doesn't tell you how to use the map until you go to the right place is a little bit annoying. But anyway, all that said, next time, we will continue and we will go on and find more palaces and more places to go. Goodbye. I'll see you then.